Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at brushless motors and how their KV impacts things like torque and efficiency. Now what is KV for a brushless motor? KV is RPM per volt. So your KV rating indicates how fast the motor will spin per volt you apply to the motor when the motor has no load on it. So for example, if I have a 1000 KV motor and I apply five volts to it, unloaded that motor will theoretically spin at 5000 RPM because that's five times a thousand. Um, if I have a 2000 KV motor, if I apply the same five volts to it, it should spin theoretically at 10,000 RPM because that's five times 2000. So what is mechanically different between motors of different KV is that the windings are different given that everything else in the motor is the same. So if you see a motor being sold in like three different KV variants, usually the only thing that's different is the windings. Now low KV tends to have more turns on the stator, so where all the wires and coils are in the motor, low KV is going to have more turns more wraps at a thinner wire diameter than a high KV motor, which will have less wraps of wire, but will have a larger diameter. So once again, low KV, more wraps, thinner wire, high KV, less wraps, thicker wire. And that's really the main difference. And that's what we're basically going to be investigating when we say that we're looking at different KVs. So how we're going to go about this, what I could do is go out and buy three different KV variants and, you know, slap them on a, a drone and then tell you, you know, qualitatively what I think of all three and how they feel in the air. But in my opinion, that's very inaccurate. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some real data, some real numbers on the computer and then settle this uh, debate once and for all because I hear all kinds of things like low KV has more torque or high KV has more power or more torque at the top end all kinds of different things uh, and these are all from people speaking qualitatively about you know their experiences uh, using these motors in different applications but none of them are really looking at the actual data so we're gonna look at the actual data and see if any of this really matters so let's go ahead and take a look at the data okay so the resource that I'm using to get all this data is a mini quad test bench this is an excellent resource I recommend you check it out in your free time because the guy who makes all of these uh, articles and collects all this data does a really good job and he collects a lot a lot a lot of data for each motor he tests and it's it's just really cool to look at the data and what he has to say about each motor in terms of build quality and things like that so excellent resource I recommend you check it out and we're gonna be taking a look at some of the numbers from this website so the first thing we're gonna look at is efficiency now we're approximating efficiency with thrust so we're just looking at uh, the different kv variants producing the same level of thrust and we're comparing that to how much power the motor is drawing using amps times volts to get watts so you can see on the y-axis we have efficiency in kilograms per watt and on the x-axis we have kv so the first motor I'm looking at is the ZMX V3 2206, which comes in three different KV variants. So that's why we're looking at it. And we can see that it kind of looks like there is a, a negative slope to this line, which would suggest that as KV increases, efficiency decreases. So this is at half a kilogram of thrust. Now let's look at that same motor at one kilogram of thrust. And we can see that that kind of correlation or whatever has gone away and now it's just a straight line. So that, that kind of makes me question whether or not there's any kind of correlation between efficiency and KV. Let's take a look at another motor, the Cobra Champion 2207, since that comes in three different KV variants as well. 
and we can see there's no kind of linear correlation here. It just seems kind of random. Let's look at that same motor at one kilogram of thrust instead of half a kilogram of thrust. And once again, not really any correlation here at that constant thrust level. So what this is really telling me is that KV has no impact on efficiency at the same thrust level. However, I think the idea that high KV is less efficient comes from the fact that high KV can spin faster. So when it's spinning faster, it's going to be making more thrust. Therefore, it's going to be drawing more power regardless. And low KV simply can't spin that fast, so it just can't create that much thrust and it can't uh, physically draw that much power since it can't spin as fast. In addition, when a motor is spinning really fast, uh, such as the high KV motors, there's extra losses happening within the motor because it's not acting completely ideally uh, as it would in like a basic physics setting um, because nothing acts ideally in the real world, unfortunately. So that may be where the idea that high KV is less efficient comes from. However, at the same thrust level, uh, there is no difference in efficiency between high and low KV. So with that settled, let's take a look at torque. And how I'm actually going to compare torque is using these nice little graphs and how you can take a look at these and uh, make them yourselves is just click on the Data Explorer tab of Mini Quad Test Bench. So I put together this little graph here and we have uh, once again the ZMX V3 and the three different KV variants running the Dow 5x4.5x3 hybrid bullnose. And the reason why I picked that prop is because it is a pretty heavy prop and it's hard to spin. So that will really expose the differences in torque if there are any. And how we're approximating torque here is not with actual torque numbers, but with response time because torque is like a twisting force and force is proportional to acceleration. And we basically have a velocity graph here. So we know that the slope of this graph will indicate torque basically uh, by comparing the different slopes. So if one line has a greater slope than another line, then we can say that its torque at that RPM is greater. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, I'll basically be walking you through it anyways. So we have our three KVs here. Green is the high KV, orange is the mid KV, and blue is the low KV. And immediately we can see that at the top end, once it gets up to full speed, we can see that obviously high KV is spinning the fastest, which you know we expect because that's what high KV means. Now what we care about is ramping up to full throttle. So this is basically the motor accelerating as fast as it can from idle to 100% throttle. If we look at the beginning here, we can also see that high KV idles higher than low KV, which we also expect. But if we look at the slopes pretty much all the way up, we can see that they're basically the same slope. And that indicates that torque for all of these motors is the same. However, you can see that low KV kind of runs out of RPM at the top range, which we expect. So it's torque up top um, starts diminishing faster than the torque of the high KV, basically because it can't spin any faster because it's lower KV. And you can also see that like we said before, it also idles lower. So really it's, it's like we've just taken the same line but just shifted it a little bit for each KV uh, into its respective RPM range because of the change in KV. So let's take a look at that other Cobra motor, the uh, Champion 2207. Once again, we have green is high KV, orange is mid KV, blue is low KV we can see the same exact thing happening here. Basically, it's the same shape, 
just shifted up as we go up in kV, which once again basically indicates there's no difference in torque except for at the top end, the low kV just runs out of RPM. So what have we learned here? We have basically learned that kV has no impact on efficiency or torque, which goes against what basically everyone I've heard qualitatively say, the data doesn't lie and basically nothing matters, which is kind of typical in physics. Okay, so some very interesting results. We found that KV has no impact on efficiency or on torque. So that leaves us with the question, how do you pick a motor KV when you're picking between different KV variants of a motor? And I think what it comes down to is just throttle range and throttle resolution. So higher KV, you're gonna have um, you know, more power, more throttle range because you're going to have that higher ultimate power. However, you're going to be sacrificing resolution because it's going to be a lot more sensitive to those little throttle adjustments since the range of power is a lot higher. So what I would basically recommend is just using the lowest KV possible to get how much power you want. So basically if you don't want that much power, just go low KV. If you want a lot of power, go high KV. And just know that the efficiency and torque will probably just be the same no matter what you pick. There are some people who will do things like get a high KV motor, but then either like never use the top 20% of their throttle or actually program their transmitter or a flight controller or something so that they can't even use the top 20% of the throttle. They just kind of chop it off and based on this data, there's really no benefit to that at all because they're not gaining any efficiency or any torque. So that's that. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have anything to say about you know, the results, please let me know down in the comments and please like this video if you liked it and get subscribed to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.